Are you one of those guys who get puzzled and nervous when you see a catalog related pop-up come on your Lightroom screen? Every photographer, be it a novice or a professional, at one point in their life, they would have got puzzled with the whole aspect of catalogs in Lightroom. In this video, I'll explain you what a catalog is and how you can make the best use of a catalog in the Lightroom workflow. Let's get started. First of all, what is a catalog? Catalog is basically a database of all the information related to your images. Information like where it is stored, what are all the keywords, how have you rated them and also all the edits that you have done on the images. So you can actually assume it like a registry of information pertaining to images that you have shot and stored in your hard drive. So the next obvious question is where do I keep this catalog? Lightroom when it installs on your machine by default creates a catalog in the pictures folder irrespective of whether it's a Windows or a Mac machine. You are more than happy to use this particular catalog, but ideally it's expected that you create a new catalog and keep it along with the images that you are editing them. So now you will ask me whether to have one single catalog or multiple catalog corresponding to each of the shoots that you do. There is an advantage and disadvantage for both of these approaches. When you have one single catalog for all your images, it's good because you can switch between different folders or the different shoot and you can uh, have a look at all the different images but as the number of images grow big in size the performance might get a hit when you're using one single catalog now having said that if you are having multiple catalogs organizing them properly in each of these folders is an additional task that you have to take care of and one of the biggest advantage with having multiple catalogs is that especially when you're using the laptop to show your, the images to the client you don't accidentally open up other images which are there in the particular catalog so you can have just one catalog corresponding to the particular shoot and you're just opening that in front of your client now that also leads to a point wherein you can ask me what is the number of catalogs that i can open in a given machine the answer is just one Lightroom just allows you to open only one single catalog on a given machine and you can't open multiple catalogs and view the images across them. If you ask me that you have many catalogs and you want an option to view images across catalog, what is that I can do? The answer is very simple. Lightroom provides you an option to import catalogs into what is known as one master catalog. So all that you have to do is create one master catalog and import all the other catalogs into this particular master catalog and view all the images. Also be assured that any changes that you have done in the smaller catalogs are transferred onto your master catalog and you won't lose any information in the master catalog. And if you are someone who is still living in stone age and using Lightroom version 3 or 4 or probably using <coughs> version of Lightroom and not exposed to the new CC version and you are missing out all the new features that are available for you and you are wondering that if you pick up the new CC version what will happen to all the images and all the edits that you have done in the past. Be assured that the new versions of Lightroom are backward compatible and when you open the catalog corresponding to the older version of Lightroom the newer version does what is known as upgrading of the catalog and all the changes that you have done in the past are carried forward to the newer version of Lightroom and you can continue using the Lightroom as you used to do in the past but you get all the new features that it comes with. Hope all this information related to Lightroom catalog was really helpful and it will help you uh, master your Lightroom workflow better and you can make the best use of Lightroom catalogs. And as I promised you, here are a few tips which you can use related to Lightroom catalogs in your Lightroom workflow. One of the biggest and most noticeable feature of the Lightroom is that it is a non-destructible workflow. All the changes that you have done to the images are always stored in the catalog and not applied to the images. So what if, if something happens to your catalog, either it gets deleted or corrupted, all your changes are gone. So to ensure that you have a safe and a secure backup of all your changes, you do what is known as a catalog backup. So when you quit Lightroom, you'll be presented with a pop-up which has information on where do you want to store the backup and also the process to initiate the backup. Now that it is giving you an option to store the backup in a different location, it's highly recommended that you store this backup of the catalog in a different location other than the hard disk where the main catalog is stored. This will ensure that if anything happens to the catalog, you always have a backup in a safe and secure place. If you are someone who uses Adobe Bridge or Adobe Photoshop to do further changes on your images, you will notice that none of the changes done in Lightroom is visible in this uh, application. 
So what you have to do is in the catalog setting, there is an option to write the changes into an XMP file. This XMP file stores all the information pertaining to the changes you have done in the Lightroom. And once you open this image in Photoshop, you can continue editing it without losing any changes that you have done in Lightroom. One thing I mentioned in the beginning of this video is having one single catalog pertaining to all your images. And I told you one of the drawbacks of that is performance. If you are using a slower machine, the performance of the Lightroom might take a hit. So the tip here is to use what is known as optimizing a catalog. The option is available in the preferences menu or even when you quit a Lightroom, the pop-up that you get to back up your images that has a checkbox corresponding to optimizing your images. So what happens is when you click on the optimize option, it reorganizes the data and also optimizes the database so that you can retrieve the images faster and also write information into the catalog much faster than what it would have been before. One important last tip that I want to give you is around the concept of smart previews. If you are someone who practices keeping the catalog on your laptop and all the images on external hard drive, you know how difficult it is to connect your hard disk and continue working on it especially when you are traveling. So if you create what is known as smart preview, so Lightroom creates a smaller version of these files available offline so that even if you are not connected to your hard disk, you can continue working on your images. So you can do anything like your cropping, you are using adjustment brushes or anything related to color. You can continue editing your images and when you are back home or in the office, when you connect to your main hard disk, all the images changes that you have done get synchronized between the hard disk and the catalog which is present on your machine. You can create smart previews in two ways, either while importing the images itself or if you already imported the images and you want specific images to be available afterwards for editing, then you can select those images and you can do what is known as generate smart previews. It will take a while based on the size of the image, but once it is ready, you can detach your hard drive and continue to edit on your machine. So those were some handy tips and tricks for you to master your catalog as well as use the catalog in the right way uh, in your Lightroom workflow. Hope that was helpful. If you like the video, make sure that you give a thumbs up and I would really appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel and also share this uh, video along with your friends and family members who are into photography and use Lightroom for their editing purpose. If there is anything specific that you would like to see on this channel, please make sure that you leave a comment in the YouTube comment section below and I'd be happy to make a video on that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.